direction cosines of a line passing through two points. In this video, you are going to learn how to find the direction cosine of a line when the line is passing through two given points. So, let us consider a line passes through two points P, X1, Y1, Z1 and Q, X2, Y2, Z2. Let L, M and N are the direction cosines of the line PQ which makes an angle alpha, beta and gamma with the positive X, Y and Z axis respectively. Then, the the direction cosine of the line joining two points P x1 y1 z1 and Q x2 y2 z2 is given by x2 minus x1 over PQ is equal to y2 minus y1 over PQ is equal to z2 minus z1 over PQ where the first term is direction cosine L, the second term is M and the third term is N. Now you must be wondering how to find PQ. So you can find PQ using the distance formula so which is basically PQ is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square. If you want to find the direction ratio of a line line passes through two points P and Q then the direction ratio of the line segment is given as we just subtract the X Y and Z component of the line so we can get X2 minus X1 this is our A Y2 minus Y1 this is our B and Z2 minus Z1 is our C or if you want to do in this way like X1 minus X2 this is our A Y1 minus Y2 this is our B and Z1 minus Z2 this is our C you must be wondering that these two are two different values. So how does that help us to find the correct direction ratio? But just to remind you that direction ratios are related to the direction cosines and they are proportional to the direction cosines. So if in case the first set of values are positive, then every number is positive. But if you subtract using the second way of subtraction, then all the numbers are negative or in the same proportion. So technically it doesn't matter whether you use the first way of finding the direction ratio or the second way you will always get the same expression. 